Welcome to the Fort Harmony Animal Hospital, certified fear free groomer here with my co star Lucy to give you my easy tips and tricks on how to bathe your dog at home. First tip is that all dog shampoo can be diluted, most 16 to 1, sometimes even 50 50. So, what I suggest is either a empty dish liquid bottle, or maybe if you do have a dilution bottle at home, which looks like this. But we're going to, for this purpose of the video today, we're going to actually use a old dish soap video, dish soap bottle. Okay, when diluting your dog shampoo, like for example, with using this bottle, we're only using up until the label line starts. The rest will be filled with water. One of the tips and tricks that I give owners is that you should use something to get your dog in the tub, especially if you have a nervous dog. So either cheese, peanut butter, chicken baby food, something that'll get them in the tub and distract them, especially if you have a nervous dog. So with Lucy today, we're gonna to use cheese. She's camera shy, so she won't eat any. One of the most common mistakes that I've seen owners do at home is they wet their dogs first, which then causes, it causes a lot of other things to go on. Your dog ends up shaking, you get water everywhere, and you still haven't even got soap in your dog yet. So one thing that I recommend for people to do is to hold the dog's back of their head, get your dilution bottle, which we filled up with water, and then use that first to get a good lather going. Another tip that I give owners is to purchase a rubber brush that you can also use in a tub or when they're dry. I said they're a little bit for mine. I like them better than the actual Firminator because they are a lot safer for your dog. You can use it in a tub, they can be dry, they can be wet, it really doesn't matter. It helps get a lot of that hair up, especially while they're in the tub before you get them out the tub. Another thing I suggest to people is not to get their dog's head wet first. Try to get the whole body pretty soaked up first before you move to the head because once again, they'll shake and get water and soap everywhere. Now that we have Lucy all set up, we're actually next when we're going to use the water. Let's test the water to make sure it's not too hot or too cold. And what I do is I don't use a lot of water, just enough to get the soap that we've already put on, lather it up a little better. As you can see, I still haven't done Lucy's face yet. That's something I typically use for the very last. If you can see, just by using this and a little bit of shampoo that we put in here diluted, this has Lucy pretty soapy. Another tip that I use, I also tell people to put the stoppers into your tubs and fill that tub up just a little. Because with the soap falling off your dog's body, it's going to create like a little foot bath. Everyone knows the dog feet stink, the paws stink. So now she has a little water in the tub. Now when it comes to soaping the face, it's best to hold your dog's head back. Around to the muzzle. 
under. And that way you're kind of keeping the soap away from their eyes. Now Luce is already re rinsed. Like with the face, I rinsed the face last. Another tip is that I try to tell clients to go as close as you can with the water nozzle to the actual coat, to the actual skin of the dog. Just because you want to make sure you pull all that soap back off. at home you can use a blow dry but I suggest using it on cool some people allow the dogs to air dry but towel dry as much as you can off your dog unlike here everyone does not have a professional dog grooming dryer at home you can use a blow dryer what i suggest is also getting a happy hood which helps with blow drying which will finish keeps all the noise from your dog actually hearing all the noise and it being just loud for them <laughs> putting your dryer on cool Just a quick recap for the suggestions and tips and tricks. A rubber brush, diluting your dog shampoo, 16 to 1, or like I tell a lot of clients, just about this much in the bottom of your bottle up to the label starting. The rest filled with water, either peanut butter or cheese on a lick pad or just right inside of your tub. 
And then blow drying. Blow drying, keep at least four to six inches away from your dog. And a happy buddy. Thank you for joining me and Lucy today for basic dog bathing at home. We'll be posting videos periodically. Thank you.